the hell is the hold up? I got a little tenderoni waiting for me at the crib, and man, B is late like Madonna's period. <laughs> Look, if Bob called us both down here, it's got to be a national crisis. I've got a bad feeling about this. D-bone, Dr. Mambuka. <laughs> Did any white people see you come down here? Hells no! Come on, Bob, what is it? Tell us. Our nightmare continues. Last night, one of my operatives in Greenwich, Connecticut heard a debutante say, that's the bomb. Oh, my God. Damn! We just changed that to that's the bomb. Last week, it was all that in a bag of chips. I told you, someone is leaking information. White America is co-opting our slang faster than ever. What do you expect? We got Ricky Lake on twice a day now. I know, yo, man. It's much harder to get my rap on without them knowing what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what we're here for, people. Let's get to work. I can't believe they got that's the bomb. That's some of my best work, B. All right. In 1960, we introduced Groovy. Then it was stolen by Simon and Garfunkel. So we replaced it with I Can Dig It. I can dig it became out of sight. Out of sight became solid. Solid became cool. Cool became raw. Raw became cool again. Cool became fresh. Fresh became deaf. Deaf became fly. Fly became cool again. Cool became dope. Dope became fat. Fat got cool for a week. Cool got chill for a minute. Chill became all that. All that became all that in a bag of chips. And that's how we arrived at the ball. It's like butter, baby. Nah, nah, negatory. Negatory. Dope did not come before fat. Tight came before fat. Your ass always forget tight. Tight never made it east of the Rockies. It was a colloquialism that originated in Hunters Point, San Francisco, and died on your MTV raps. That's still in dispute, people. Focus, please. All right, look, we can always go back to cool. Come on, D-Bone, we're better than that. All right, let's think. What are the possible etymological extensions of bomb? Neutron bomb. Patriot missile. Sidewinder. Uh, scud. How about, that's the scud. Don't nobody know what a scud is, that's stupid. You mean stupid good or stupid bad? Stupid bad. Wait, bad as in fat bad or bad bad? Bad bad, now listen, listen, baby. You the scud. Brother get slapped for saying something like that. <laughs> that is weak. Weak as in trifling. Sorry to the curb. Trump changed. No major pub. Scrub. Brian Gumble. All right, then. Think big. Think big bomb. Vampire in Brooklyn. Uh, no, 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 no. The bomb, as in you're blowing up. You're exploding. World Trade Center. No, 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 no. As in disaster, mass killings, destruction, bloodbath, bodies everywhere. Ebola. Ebola! Girl, your shoes are Ebola. Yeah, Club Paradise was the Ebola last night. What? Not the Ebola, Ebola. You're right, my bad. Like, did you see the new receptionist? Her booty's Ebola. Agreed. We'll wire Ebola to our best operatives immediately. All right, I'll contact Karis, one Dr. Dre, and uh, Ice Cube. Actually, before we go, I feel I should once again bring up the subject of funky. Oh, man, squash that noise. Damn. Bob, Bob, how many times do we have to go over this? We have so few connections to our past. Please, let Funky be funky. We got to represent and keep it real. But I've got a report here that a pro bowler from Mobile, Alabama said Funky last week. <laughs> they don't know how to use it right. They'll never know what it means. Okay, okay, uh. just making a suggestion. Very good work, people. Ah, that was better than good. That was Ebola. Ebola. <laughs> I'm gonna say bowl of booty. I'll see y'all later. Oh, I know. <laughs>